got your back and I cannot lie. My mastermind can't do. Hey there, it's Lisa Robin Young and welcome to Creative Freedom, where we share insights and inspiration to help you build a noble empire and live an inspired life. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Facebook to create a powerful and effective mastermind group with just four tips. The first one is that you need to find four to five people who you trust to be honest with you. And this is important. You may not like them. You just want to be able to trust that they're going to hold things that you say confidential and be courageous enough to give you the truth because that's what you need to grow your business successfully. We talk about sensitive, intimate information in our mastermind group because as creative entrepreneurs, our work and our lives are intertwined. So the personal and the financial are all fair game and as such, you only want people who you trust that will be honest with you and keep things confidential. I cannot stress how important that is. And because you're sharing this sensitive information, you don't want more than four or five people knowing what's going on with you, your life, and your business. So four to five people tops. And anything larger than that really isn't a mastermind group. It's a networking group. And there's a difference. During our mastermind sessions, we'll spend 15 to 30 minutes sharing what's going well for us, celebrating our wins, and then an equivalent amount of time sharing where we're stuck and asking for help. In a group of 10 or even 30 people, you just don't have enough time to really get the help that you need without making it an all-day affair. Which brings me to point number two. You gotta get face-to-face. -face. Whether you use Facebook's video chatting feature, Skype, or Google Hangouts, like one mastermind group that I've been in. There's incredible value in being able to see each other's faces and read your body language and just generally get to know the other members in your group. The first mastermind group that I was ever in met regularly on the phone. And that was okay until the day that we all got together for a group retreat and met in person for the very first time. And that's when it became painfully obvious to everyone in the room except me that I was not a good fit for the group. And they were right. Since I wasn't on the same trajectory that they were on, it wasn't a good fit for them and it wasn't a good fit for me. And we might not have ever figured that out if we hadn't gotten together face to face. Which brings me to point three. Same trajectory, different levels of expertise. These are the criteria that I found that really help a mastermind click and stick. Think of it this way. If everyone knew exactly the same things and were in exactly the same spot, you'd all get stuck in the same places at exactly the same time. On the other hand, if one person brings all the insights and connections to the table and everyone else is just sponging off them, well, then somebody is going to get resentful in the end. The best masterminds combine different people with different experiences, connections, and contributions who are all on a similar path towards success. Lastly, use a timer. For the love of all things holy, use a timer. You don't need an uber expensive facilitator to run a mastermind program. Edison and Ford didn't have one and you don't need one either. A true mastermind brings like-minded people together on their own accord, with their own gifts, their own questions, their own ideas and abilities. And as such, it's really easy for one person to monopolize the conversation if you don't use a timer to keep everybody on track. And since we use Facebook as our between meeting outpost, you'll want to use a timer to keep yourself accountable there as well. Facebook is designed to be sticky, with the average user logging about 60 minutes a day. So you want to make sure that you're holding yourself accountable and not getting sucked into the distraction that Facebook can be. Go in, share your insights, share your resources, get the help you need, and let the timer be the villain to get you back on track with the other things and responsibilities that you need to handle in your life and in your work. So now let me hear ya. What's been your experience with mastermind groups? What did you love? What did you hate? Do you have some criteria that I missed? 
Share your thoughts in the comments and let's be a rising tide for everyone. If you like this video and want to be the first to see more like it, then subscribe and share me around with your friends, which sounds kind of naughty, but it's actually kind of fun. And there's always more where this came from for inspiring songs and stories and more how-tos to build a noble empire and live an inspired life. Come see what's shaking over at lisarobinyoung.com. You know you want to.